Hi everyone and welcome to episode 66 of the Montrose and Holland Railroad. Well it's my favourite time of the year again. Some call this autumn, others call it fall, but we all call it railway modelling season. It's a time when we return summer clothes to the closet and head off to the layout to build new features and to relax. Or relax in theory anyway. If you're anything like me with wiring, sometimes anxiety and stress are more likely than relaxation. But even though for a while we might lose our model railway mojo, it will always return. You might remember in episode 65 that I've added two new boards to the layout recently. Downtown Blue Haven is one of the boards, or downtown as I call it for short, and I haven't done too much with this one yet, although I have made a start on it. The other board's called Distoria. Last time you saw this board in the last episode, it was a blank canvas with a single track running through it. Well, I've been working hard on Distoria, and it's based on the very small town in rural Ohio called Hoytville, between Deschler and Fostoria. And about 11 years ago, I had the pleasure of staying for half an hour here and watched trains going backwards and forwards over this grade crossing. Anyway, that's besides the point. Let's have a look what the board looks like now. So it's quite a lot different. There's a cornfield in the background. and a railroad crossing complete with flashing lights and there's a small turn in here which is handy for rail fans to park up and watch trains and surely with the number of trains that are passing here it's got to be the busiest single track stretch of line in America I used to have this building in Blue Haven Yard but I've moved it here now and put lights in it. This is a Walther's model and it's one of my favourites. So it's very different to the last time you saw this. Anyway, I'd better move this train off the crossing because it's blocking the road up. See you shortly. I've also done some work at the side of Blue Haven Yard. There's a new McDonald's here. I haven't finished scenery work around the restaurant yet, but I have finished painting the restaurant and installed lights into it. So the place is now open for business. This was a 3D printed model which I painted myself and I purchased it very cheaply from a seller on eBay. I'm very pleased indeed with how it's turned out and the paint scheme is very similar to the one where my wife is a hostess. Very pleased with how it's turned out. Also in this area I've also finally got round to reinstating the car park at Giant Eagle. This needed doing for several months now. I'm glad I've got the work done on it. When the car park was here before, the cars were all pointed towards um, the supermarket. But I think they look more realistic facing the way they do now. The next stage will be to do something with this area in front of uh, Denny's restaurant. In recent times a number of YouTube channel owners have challenged model railroaders to run certain types of trains on our layouts. Um, Jack Jack initiated a challenge for people to run uh, a train of hoppers on their layout for instance. 
and Vinny of BN6951 has asked people to run um, power moves which are like locomotives on their layouts. Um, Roy Smith was challenged by Jack Jack to run uh, Hopper Train and he did so and then Roy challenged me to run a similar train on my layout. Now this was some weeks ago and I apologise for the tardiness of sending the video um, but here's some footage of the hopper train that I ran behind my uh, scale trains locomotive sound equipped 3610 I hope you enjoy it You may have noticed at the end of the Jack Jack Challenge video that the decapitated ghost of Walt South has reappeared on the layout following several years absence. 
Local legend has it that Walt was coming home from the bar one evening and decided to take a shortcut along the track side between the track and the cornfield and fell underneath the wheels of a passing train. His reappearance probably has something to do with Halloween later on this month. Now that most of us have been vaccinated against Covid, it seems there are more model railway exhibitions actually happening now, instead of them just being planned and then cancelled. While I don't think we can take it for granted yet that Covid's gone away, and I don't think we should relax our guard against the virus, it's good to th see things that are starting to resume again. With that in mind, it was a pleasure for me to attend the International Engage show last month, which is an annual exhibition held in the Midlands just for us Engage modellers. Most layouts are British and this year was no exception. But this year there was also a Japanese layout, a French one and two American ones as well. I didn't buy anything but it was a real pleasure to meet up with my friends Lackey, Dennis and Sophie for the very first time in many months. Sometimes it's just a pleasure to meet up with friends and take the opportunity to look at layouts again, no matter what the subject is, and even no matter whatever the scale is. After the 18 months we've all just been through, I don't think I will ever treat exhibitions so casually ever again. I'm grateful to people like Roy Smith and his N-Scale Evanston subdivision, and Mike Pfeiffer and his ACT R&R channel for keeping us interested during this difficult time. There have been many others as well, Anyway, I hope my videos are also enjoyed by people and you find them entertaining. While you tell me you like my layouts and my videos, I'll continue to make them for you. So that's all for today. I hope you feel inspired to go off and run a few trains now or develop your layout in some way. There's always something which you can do. There are tentative plans for me to visit the Sandy Creek layout belonging to my friend Lackey in the near future and for us to have a themed day. Of course I will bring you some video of that event. Anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video and you like the new Distoria. Click on the like button below and consider subscribing to my channel. Keep watching my videos and tell your friends. Stay safe everyone and thanks for watching.